Tiger Wave, by Kev Gray and Nick Sharrett. Daisy had been adopted by tigers. Her mum had been stolen by a gang of mad elephants, so there was no one else around to look after her. Come with us," said the tiger chief, "and we will teach you tiger ways." Excellent," said Daisy, following the tigers deep into the jungle. "You'll have to grow a tail," said one of the tigers. "No problem." Said Daisy, and you will need to get some stripes. I love stripes," said Daisy, jumping over a small jungle stream. "Where will I live?" asked Daisy. "In a cave," said the tigers. "Caves are the tiger way." How exciting! Thought Daisy. Where will I sleep? Asked Daisy. On a ledge, said the tigers, or up on a tree. That is the tiger way. How brilliant! Thought Daisy. And what will I eat? Daisy asked. People mostly, said the tigers. People or antelopes. It depends on what we can catch. Daisy frowned. People and antelopes. She'd never eaten those before. She followed the tigers deeper into the jungle. You know when you're eating people and antelopes, Daisy asked. Do you have tomato sauce on them, or do you eat them by themselves? By themselves. Said the tiger chief, "Tigers don't eat tomato sauce. It's not the tiger way. We eat everything on its own." Daisy prowled through some jungle leaves and frowned again. "I know what," she said. "I've got a better idea. What if sometimes we do things the tiger way, and other times we do things my way?" Then it will be much more fairer. Okay," said the tigers. So, like, if I'm eating people, I can have tomato sauce on them," said Daisy. "Fair enough," said the tigers. "Or、oh, squirty cream," said Daisy. "If you say so," said the tigers. Actually, thinking about it. It's probably better if I'm the tiger chief from now on," said Daisy. "Okay," said the tiger, who wasn't the tiger chief anymore. "One other thing," said Daisy, "I'll only eat people that I don't like, like Jack Beechwhistle. I don't mind eating him because he calls everyone horrible names at school. Eating him would be all right." As long as he's got lots of tomato sauce on him, squirt. The tigers nodded and led Daisy to their cave. Daisy grew a tail and some stripes and began learning tiger ways. She learned how to clean her long tiger whiskers without soap, jump from really big boulders, hide in long grass. And catch and eat people and antelopes. Tiger ways are fun," roared Daisy. The tigers learned to ride Daisy's bike, eat jelly beans, read comics, build sandcastles, watch telly, have cushion fights, and bounce really high on trampolines. Daisy waves are fun too," whooped the tigers. Daisy was just reaching for some more tomato sauce when her tiger ears pricked up. A dangerous sound was coming from high up in the jungle canopy. Daisy, will you come out from under the kitchen table? 
said the strange in danger found. It's time you went upstairs for a bath. Daisy crouched low in the jungle grass. Just her tiger luck. It was the sound of her mum. The mad elephants must have given her back. Daisy, I know you're under there, said mum. You've been under there ever since we got back from the school feet. Will you please go and have your bath and wash that face paint off? Daisy closed her eyes and hid behind her big tiger paws. Daisy, growled her mum. Daisy looked out from under the table and sighed. Oh, mum, I can't have a bath. I'm a tiger, she said. Tigers are cats, and cats don't like water. In fact, they hate water. Bats aren't tiger ways. Daisy's mum folded her arms. Actually, Daisy, tigers do like water. In fact, tigers are very good swimmers. Not me, said Daisy. I was frightened by a crocodile when I was a cub. Daisy's mum raised her eyebrows and then smiled. I know a tiger way, she said. Hot milk, said Daisy's mum. Tigers love hot milk. How about if you have your bath and get ready for bed and I make you a tiger-sized cup of hot milk? Daisy did a tiger tut and crawled out of her tiger cave. Okay, she sighed. But you're going to have to help me brush my teeth tonight. And why would that be, little Miss Tiger? Asked Daisy's mum. Because I ate Jack Beach Whistle for lunch earlier, purred Daisy. And I've still got some bits of him stuck between my teeth. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell button so you don't miss out on our next videos. Bye!